Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today I wanted to talk fragrance with you guys. Um, fragrance can be a pretty controversial thing as far as what you like versus what someone else likes, how it smells on you versus how it smells on someone else. Um, I'd say I got into fragrance five to six years ago. It's pretty new to me as far as how things smell, what lines have what, and what I really like. I'm very sensitive to scents um, on me personally. So perfumes that I spray on me, home scents, not so much, like candles and things like that I'm a nut for, but sorry about the sun, it's going in and out, but it's a sunny day, but a very cold day here. Um, but the sun is ridiculously bright and then not, so sorry if it's like coming in and out. Anyway, uh, I like to bring you content, didn't say I brought you the best editing and the best um, visual appeal, but I'm trying ladies and gents, I'm trying. Anyway, so bear with me. Um, thanks so much for coming to my channel and checking me out though. So anyway, I digress. So yes, fragrance can be very personal is what I'm trying to say. So I have learned through the years after being taught by a very, very fragrance loving mother and sister, um, they both have a fine fragrance uh, nose. So they don't go to Things that I would typically go to, which you'll see, I think I have some that are pretty basic. I mean, my mom has become so elitist with it that she, you know, is now looking at ingredients saying if it has too much alcohol, that's not a fine fragrance. It's taking up most of that beautiful essence and that smell and things like that. And now she's kind of making me realize that, which is not a cheap thing to have, an expensive nose for fragrance. So thanks again, mom. She did it to me with skincare and she's doing it to me with fragrance, but I digress. What I'm trying to say is, there really is a difference um, between a fine fragrance and just a fragrance and how things smell on you and your body oils and your body chemistry and how it makes um, a fragrance smell. So I've learned that over the years, what I'm trying to say. So it's been about five, six years that I've really been into it and really cared. But I will say that I do have my few that I love and I don't wear them every day. And especially with a new baby, I'm a little bit, you know, paranoid. She's sucking on me and she's got a tooth coming in, which is why I couldn't bring you an actual five minute makeup tutorial because that will require me not having makeup, doing the makeup. I need a lot more time and she's not giving me that these days because she has a little tooth popping through and she is really, really needing mama all the time. So anyway, that's neither here nor there, but I'm gonna bring you guys that. I really want to, but I just need to find that time. Um, so I just, I'm really conscious of what I was saying of wearing fragrance on me right now. So I don't wear it all the time and they go bad and you don't wanna wear a bad fragrance. You will know when your fragrance is bad. So that's why I've kind of limited my collection recently and I do have the few I love and I don't just go buy millions. My mom is a collector. She buys um, Bon New York, which was only in New York at the, I think Bergdorf or Saks in New York years and years ago. So she was the original OG of that. And now they've since come to many boutiques and Saks and other places, I think so. But I mean, you can go crazy. Fragrances today are beautiful, beautiful. I mean, things just upon your vanity that are painted, hand painted by artists. I mean, you can go nuts with all these different lines and all these different, um, who was the one, Killian. My mom got us into, um, she was insane and gifted us all a Killian um, small fragrance at my sister's bridal shower, I believe. So Killian's another incredible, incredible um, fragrance house that you can you know explore to and that's at Saks. So she's really, really what I'm trying to say has made me notice now fine fragrance, but I still love what I love and I don't love the finest of fine and I can, you know, dabble here and there where she wouldn't. Um, but the alcohol content really is something that I've noticed and she's told me about and you know, even with Jo Malone, who I love, she says, you know, and she loves it too, she collects them and she still buys them, but she says, you know, it is a shame because there is a lot of alcohol in alcohol content in that in their fragrance line so it takes away from that actual essence so she says you know when they charge for what it is eh, but she still buys it because their collections are beautiful and anyway so let's jump into it because I have a few here that I really want to mention and I think are just great starters if you don't really have any that are pretty unique and like I said I'm not super particular I am super particular with my rose so I will show you the best the only deep dark rose if you want and you are true you have to really love rose and I've been in search of it and my mom and I went to this event back when I lived in California with her and you know maybe I'll just start with that because it's the best okay so this is the Armani Privé the Rose de Arib a yeah, gosh I'm gonna butcher that so it's D-A-R-A-B-I-E Arib -E. 
I don't know if it's air, I don't know what it is. But anyway, is that the most beautiful bottle you've ever seen? It is not cheap. It is high street and it is an investment, but I'm telling you, if you want the essence of rose, it smells like you are literally in a rose. I mean, I can't even explain it to you, but like deep and dark and sexy and just, I don't even know. Like I said, I'm not the best with, oh my God, with notes and everything, but it smells like you're literally burning a candle. Like it has that background of, of depth and like, you know, like a fire wood burning with the most gorgeous, ugh, like, light rose, but it's not even light because I don't want to say it because it's a pretty heavy fragrance because this is the um, Armani Privé line, so that's higher potency and much more strong, but it is incredible. And like I said, I'm sensing fragrance with this I can wear, and I feel, I don't know, just like, like almost elevates my look. Like I wear it when I want to dress up and feel, you know, I, it's just, I don't even know. I can't, it's so elegant, I guess is what I want to say. Go smell it. It's at Saks, I think, and Neiman. I think Neiman is where I got it, so I don't know, but check it out, Neiman, Marcus. It is absolutely incredible, and this is a 100 milligram, um, or milliliter, sorry, but this is just the best rose. If you're in search of a, a true, you know, and it's not gonna be watered down or like rose water or light. This is a deep, dark, beautiful, heavy, sexy rose. This is the best. Love this fragrance. I think it's like truly my number one because I had been in search for so long of that true rose. And that is Armani Privé, like I mentioned. And it's just a beautiful bottle. I mean, to put that on your counter, it's just gorgeous. And it's colors I love too. Tried and True by Rado Parfums are my fave. Um, this was my first one, I think two years ago, my mom gifted me for Christmas. And this is Gypsy Water, which is like the cult one everyone has and loves. And I love it. I like it. I shouldn't say I love it. I like it. I don't like, I love how it smells in the bottle. I don't love how it smells on me. And throughout the day, I kinda don't love it. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, it smells very, you know, a little florally, a little sea salt, like light, summery. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and it's very popular, but sometimes, like I said, you'll smell it in the bottle. It smells incredible on you, not so much. But the other one from Byredo that I do love is the Byredo Mojave Ghost and I love yeah, I love how this smells on me. And this has more of a, again, a deeper, almost unisex masculine, I'd say, than the um, Gypsy Water does. And that's what I kind of resonate more to, um, or I gravitate, resonate, uh, gravitate more towards that masculine. So it has almost a floral, but it's, it's a deeper, if I can say that, like a deeper kind of floral than the, than the um, Gypsy Water does. This is a little heavier. But I like how this smells on me much better than I do the, the Gypsy Water. Then, so those are my Byredo. Those are the two I have. I had Belle de Freak way too strong. I gave that to my mom. She likes that one. But I, that's just real masculine, real deep. And I just, it was not working with my body chemistry. This is a great investment because it is a all over body spray. Um, and this is the Tom Ford. He comes out with this, you know, the summer Soleil Blanc, which is the summer scent. And this is literally like summer sunscreen in a bottle, but it's a spray and a fragrance. So it just smells like the beach. It smells like sunscreen. It just makes you feel fresh, young and youthful and summery and springy. And it's awesome. And this is so light, I, which I love about it. It's just like a body spray versus their perfume. So you just spray it all over. They have this in an oil too, but I don't typically love oils. Um, and this is just a beautiful fragrance, light for spa, summer. I don't really wear it much in spring. I just do wear it all the time in summer and I love it. And it's just a great, easy bottle you can travel with too so you don't have to worry it's not glass and it's much cheaper than any of the other Soleil Blancs in the um you know like this kind of a bottle this one's much cheaper so they came out with this and I was like yes because I've been wanting it but I don't love the oil my mom had that I tried it and I just was like eh, kind of dissipates it's an oil but this is um a beautiful beautiful fragrance and that's what I want to mention too that when you do have the high alcohol content the biggest issue is not only the scent but it does wear off sooner because that alcohol is kind of eating up the fragrance. I don't know, technically, don't quote me on that, but I know that it does help to make the fragrance, you know, fade faster. So the less alcohol contact, the stronger, obviously like a perfume, the stronger the perfume will stay on you and, and you know, just go with you through the day. And I have that problem too. Like when I wear fragrances, I don't smell them within like an hour. But the Byredo I do, because I noticed I didn't love the Gypsy Water, which I smelled later on me. And I was like, oh, I don't really love that. So that is the other thing about alcohol I wanted to mention. 
This is an oldie but a goodie. I think it's my second one, but my mother got me into Nucatel, which was like old school for her. But if you're in search of another one that I was in search of forever was the best vanilla and not a musk because there's a difference because I don't like musk very much. But this is a true vanilla exquisite, which is exquisite, I guess. Um, again, I'm butchering French. This is an eau de toilette. This is a Nucatel. This is the best vanilla you will ever smell. It smells like a vanilla bean. It is beautiful and it wears beautiful and every single time I wear this, men and women included, say, what are you wearing? That is beautiful. So if you want a beautiful, sexy, I not even say, it's just sweet. It's just, you know, it just people, people notice it, people smell it. It's beautiful. This is the best vanilla I have found. Vanilla squeezy. And then there's a, um, I think it's Guerlain, makes a double vanilla, double vanille it's called. My mom has that, I do not, because it's quite expensive. And I got a sample of that when I went and she bought hers and it is the most, that's the other one. There's an incredible double vanilla is the technical name for it. I'm sure it's a French double vanilla um, by Guerlain. Check that one out if you're in search of another beautiful, beautiful vanilla, that is it. And then again, for my like cheaper, not cheaper, but like more affordable kind of like you buy it for the black opium. I love this. I really love this. And a lot of people do, this is really popular. I just love this. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, it's sexy, it's deep, it's cool. It's, I don't know. And this is the one of the, I think more limited edition bottles with like the, you can't really see that, the glittery kind of um, lacquered bottle. And I love it. I just love it. It's deep, it's florally, but again, has that like depth to it. I can't explain what that is, but love this, love this black opium um, by YSL, if I didn't mention that. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance and it's everywhere and it's affordable, so you can check that one out. This is new to me. I have never used a hair fragrance and again, Diptyque, me, of course, love. Should have mentioned this in my Diptyque video, but I actually just bought it two weeks ago. And this is the Eau Rose Hair Mist. So it's like a hair fragrance and you spray it, oh, it's so amazing, it's a beautiful rose. And you just spray it in your hair, and that I thought was a cool thing because even though my daughter is always playing with my hair and kind of got her face in it, I feel less worried because like shampoo and stuff, I don't really worry as much when it's in my hair. So I'm still getting that fragrance, but I'm not putting it on my chest and my you know arms and everything like that, and I am still nursing her, so I'm conscious of like spraying stuff here and things like that, so this, putting it in my hair, makes me feel a little bit better about it. So when I saw this, I said, oh, I'm gonna try that. And it is, well, I just sprayed it and it is absolutely beautiful. So this is a smaller hair mist, so it won't go bad. And that's the thing too, always, always be conscious of the size fragrance you're buying because like I said, they go bad. So don't go and buy the biggest if you're not sure you love it because unless you're wearing it literally every day, they go bad very, not very quickly, but again, I'll, I'll notice something I haven't worn in a year and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get rid of that now because it's gone bad. So just be conscious of the size you buy. I always buy the smallest. Like this Byredo comes in huge, huge ones. And even the stuff I love, 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 I just don't wear it enough. But you have to know you. If you're going to wear it a ton and you know you're going to wear it every day, invest. But I'm like I'm saying, I switch it up. So I like to buy the smallest or the second smallest size. And that's why I love this. This is a great size is what I was getting to. And I can throw it in my purse and I can travel with it and I'm still getting the fragrance, but I'm not spraying it on my chest, which kind of still freaks me out. I don't know why, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, new mommy, new mommy issues. <laughs> but this is beautiful, Eau Rose by Diptyque. Um, and it's technically called, what is it? Yeah, just hair mist. So it's beautiful, check that one out. And then the newest one in my collection from Jo Malone, they just came out with another one that I think my mom and I are gonna go check out. But this is the Jo Malone Green Almond and Red Current. My mom got it engraved for me with my initials. How beautiful is that? So stuff like that on your vanity, it's just special and it's beautiful and my mom spoils me. Um, this I love and I love the bottle and I love this came with that um, all pink and green which my daughter's nursery is very Palm Beachy, Flamingos, Palm Print, um, just pink and green everything. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, mom. And then she ends up buying her the beautiful pink and green uh, ceramic candle for her nursery, which is adorable. So. Anyway, this line is just beautiful in itself, again, the packaging, but this red currant, I really do love. Green almond red currant is beautiful. It's um, a little more earthy, which I don't typically like, and I do love this. Florally with a little bit of earthy kind of grass clean spring. This is a beautiful spring fragrance. That's obviously why it probably came out in spring, but 
uh, between you and me, this is a great spring fragrance. So kind of transitioning, it's not too summery, beachy, like, you know, that sunscreeny, uh, cocoa buttery, you know, coconut smell. This is more like fresh green, um, blooming flowers, just very fresh spring. So that's, I would call this the ultimate spring fragrance. So go check this one out, it's beautiful. Um, Jo Malone and this just the packaging is just gorgeous too which is also extra special when you can have special packaging and then this one I will let mention too is an easy um, I just got this in small because this is just my travel one but this is the amber vanilla by um, the amber vanilla by Lauren Mercier and I love this this is a it's a pretty vanilla because it's not just vanilla it has that ambery kind of deepness to it and it's beautiful and um, if I again was gonna recommend just a a vanilla you can get your hands on that's affordable. I would recommend this um, Laura Mercier one, the Amber Vanilla. It's beautiful, and again, it comes in all sizes, so you can throw it in your purse. And this is my travel go-to fragrance that I'll just throw in my bag. And it's just a good all-around fragrance. Still beautiful, still light enough. Um, but again, you're getting that that vanilla, which I love. Um, and then I will show you this one last thing that I started to do too, because I had an accumulation of these, and this is like literally not even close to how many I have, because I'm always trying new stuff. But I thought this was just a cute way to display um, a few of these little atomizers that I get as samples. And I have some much bigger samples in here. And this, I will say, helps me to try them more, you know, to put them on more. I'm not gonna go in a drawer, go in a box, or go somewhere where I have them stored. Um, if I have them out on my vanity with all my other fragrances. And I just found that this way works, you know, and I'll just grab them from here. And this one is the um, Byredo La Tulip, the Tulip. You can't see that at all, but La Tulip is the next one I think I'll get in a full size because this one I'm loving and I wanted to try it. So I got the smaller sample one and um, not this isn't the sample. This is one I think you can pay for this size. Um, this is just the 12 milliliter, but this is beautiful. La Tulip is the other one that's like a great spring go-to light florally. Um, so I've been trying that, but anyway, and then I have in here the Diptyque one. Um, which one is this? Tamdo, I don't know what this one is, but oh yeah, that's beautiful too. So I mean, the bigger of those atomizers too fit in here nicely. And then I just have a bunch of small um, Detique ones, a Gretman one, Chanel. Uh, oh, this is beautiful too. This Rose, um, Rose of No Man's Land, which is a Byredo. I have a lot of Byredo in here too. Because again, if you don't want to invest, try them. Keep them by your vanity like this. That way, you will actually try them, and then you know if you want to go and buy. The full size so that's just kind of my new little trick that i've tried because i have so many beautiful fragrances that i want to invest in i want to try but i'm like i just i just don't pull the plug because i said you know i have so many that i hardly even use and especially with her i'm using less and less of them so those are my top what 10 yeah almost about 10 fragrances that i think you know i've tested and like i said i'm picky so but it is personal and i don't want to say go get these go but go smell these and see if you like them because they're pretty pretty good with exactly what I said like the best vanilla the best rose like they're pretty on and when that aspect so go check them out these are a few of my favorite ones I have a bunch of other fragrances too but and these I think you can all get your hands on now none of these are limited edition I don't believe no so I think they're all available to you and that's the thing there's a few others I love but they don't make them in that bottle or that scent anymore um, which is funny too, that Escada, I remember I used to get way back in the day, my mom got me and they just repackage it. It's the same scent. So be wary of that too. Um, I just found that out somewhere, somehow, I don't know. Anyway, but you know, they just do the limited edition packaging for every launch. And then you're like, well, wait a second, this smells so similar. And it was the same scent. And I was literally just buying the packaging. I said, this is nuts. So I don't know of any other lines that do that. I think that may just be them, but, um, be kind of conscious of that if you go and ask your sales associate, you know, is this actual fragrance limited edition or is it just the packaging, the bottle? Because they will do that. Um, no, actually I actually think Joe Malone has done that before too. And I've asked and they said, no, it's just repackaged. I said, well, thanks for telling me because I would have just bought the same fragrance that I haven't even used the, you know, the full size of the other one yet. So anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much guys for coming back today. And I will hopefully bring you a tutorial soon. If not, um, will be in the near future, hopefully this month, next month. And I don't know what content I will bring you next, but I would love to know. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and subscribe. Let anyone know that may be interested in my kind of videos and let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm always saying that and I will always, always try my hardest um, to make the best effort to bring that to you guys. So 
Thanks so much. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.